everybody. Welcome back to my channel Health Fitness 1047. My name is Ryan. The Ryan quick you a happy week and good day. Today, here in Japan, news follow up. One, Demi Lovato's child star documentary highlights, the celebs revelations Demi Lovato's newly released child star documentary offers an intimate look into the lives of former child stars. Revealing the challenges they faced growing up in the spotlight, through personal stories from various celebrities, the film shines a light on the pressures and emotional toll that fame can take on young entertainers. Demi herself shares painful memories from her early career, including being bullied before she became famous. She recalls a time when her peers circulated a suicide petition at school, an experience that deeply affected her mental health. Co-star Allison Stoner described the difficulties working with Demi during the later years of their collaboration on Camp Rock, noting the intense atmosphere on set. The documentary also features stories from other actors, including Drew Barrymore, who candidly talks about her difficult upbringing in the Barrymore acting family. Raised by her mother, Drew reflected on her troubled childhood and her father's drug addiction, questioning why she was pushed into acting at such a young age. Kenan Thompson Known for his work on Keenan and Kel in Saturday Night Live, revealed a personal betrayal when a man his mother trusted stole his earnings during his time at Nickelodeon. A devastating moment in his career, Raven Simone, who started her career as a child star in That's So Raven, discussed how her family emphasized professionalism from a very young age. She learned the value of money early on, recognizing her job as a serious responsibility. Christina Ricci, known for her roles in The Addams Family and Casper, opened up about the chaos of her childhood, with her father being a failed cult leader. Her journey through her early acting career was shaped by her family struggles. The documentary brings together these varied experiences, highlighting the immense emotional and psychological toll that child stars often endure. Demi Lovato hopes this film will foster a conversation about protecting the well-being of young talents in the entertainment industry and beyond. 2. Jansen Panettiere Five things to know about Hayden's brother who died at 28 Jansen Panettiere, younger brother to actress Hayden Panettiere. Passed away at the age of 28 in February 2023 due to cardiomegaly, an enlarged heart and aortic valve complications. The heartbreaking news left Hayden and her family devastated. In a September 2024 interview with People, Hayden opened up about the profound grief she experienced following her brother's death, saying that losing him felt like losing half of her soul. She shared that while she will never fully recover from his loss, it has taught her to focus on what truly matters and not to let minor issues upset her. Jansen Panettiere's career, though not as widely known as his sister, Jansen had a notable acting career. He appeared in the 2004 Disney Channel movie Tiger Cruise alongside Hayden and voiced characters in popular animated films like Ice Age and Racing Stripes. His other acting credits included The Exes, The Last Day of Summer, The Babysitters, and a 2019 appearance on The Walking Dead. Some of his films included The Perfect Game, The Forger, and Summer Forever. Artist and Personal Life In his later years, Jansen shifted his focus towards his passion for art. He shared his paintings on Instagram and sold merchandise featuring his artwork through his website. In one of his posts, he expressed how painting had become a therapeutic solution for him. Although Jansen kept much of his personal life private, 
A January 2023 Instagram post indicated that he was in a relationship with a woman named Catherine Mitchie. He shared affectionate photos of the two together. Captioning them, My Babe. Family and relationship with Hayden, Jansen and Hayden shared a close bond. One of Jansen's last Instagram posts in January 2023 featured Hayden giving him a haircut. With a humorous caption noting it wasn't the first time she had tried to do so. After his passing, Hayden posted a touching tribute to her brother on his 29th birthday, writing, Happy birthday little brother, I miss you every day, I'll love you forever. Through Hayden, Jansen had a niece, Kaya, whom Hayden shares with her ex-fiancé, Vladimir Klitschko. Though Hayden relinquished custody of Kaya due to personal struggles, the family dynamic was important to Jansen. Jansen's legacy lives on through his art, acting, and the deep love his family continues to express for him. 3. Anna Delvey, 5 Things About the Con Artist on Dancing with the Stars 1. Anna Delvey is an alias Anna Delvey's real name is Anna Sorokin. She adopted the last name Delvey during her time in New York, although her parents, who are Russian immigrants, have stated that they do not recognize the name. Anna began using this name after her internship at Purple Magazine, during which she rebranded herself as a glamorous German heiress. 2. The Soho Scammer persona Anna Delvey gained notoriety for pretending to be a wealthy German heiress with access to a $67 million trust fund. She used this false identity to infiltrate New York's elite social circles, where she defrauded hotels, private jet operators, restaurants, and banks out of approximately $275,000. Her biggest scam involved attempting to secure a $20 million loan to open an exclusive club, the Anna Delvey Foundation. 3. Prison sentence for her crimes in 2017, Anna was arrested and, in 2019, convicted on charges including grand larceny and theft of services. She was sentenced to 4 to 12 years in prison, fined $24,000, and ordered to pay $200,000 in restitution. Anna was released in February 2021 for good behavior after serving nearly four years. 4. Ice custody and visa issues following her release from prison. Anna was rearrested by ICE for overstaying her visa. She spent several months in ICE custody as she fought deportation to Germany. Despite serving her criminal sentence, Anna claimed her visa overstay was unintentional and is currently appealing her criminal conviction in an effort to clear her name. 5. Netflix's role in telling her story Anna's story gained widespread attention thanks to Netflix's hit series Inventing Anna, where she is portrayed by Julia Garner. Netflix paid Anna $320,000 for the rights to her story, a portion of which she used to pay back her restitution and legal fines, totaling around $223,000. The remaining amount went toward her legal fees. Anna's unexpected appearance on Dancing with the Stars marks another surprising twist in her tumultuous life. As she transitions from con artist to reality TV star. 4. Diddy jailed at MDC Brooklyn. Inside the detention center Sean, Diddy, Combs' legal troubles have placed him at the center of a high-profile criminal case involving serious allegations of racketeering, sex trafficking, and prostitution. While he has pleaded not guilty and maintains his innocence, the accusations have raised questions about his role in a larger criminal enterprise. With the trial yet to begin, the future of his career and his freedom hangs in the balance, as his legal team prepares to fight the charges and appeal the court's decision to deny bail. The outcome of this case could have far-reaching consequences, both for Combs personally and for the broader entertainment industry. 5. What did Anna Delvey do? All about the fraudsters past Anna Delvey, whose real name is Anna Sorokin, gained infamy for her elaborate scams in New York City where she posed as a wealthy socialite. 
Born in 1991 in Domodedovo, a town near Moscow, Russia, she moved to New York after interning at Purple, a French magazine. Once there, she orchestrated various fraudulent schemes, living in luxury hotels without paying, using invalid credit cards, and fabricating fake bank statements to maintain her persona as an affluent heiress. Her deception unraveled in 2017 when she was arrested by the New York Police Department during a sting operation while staying at an addiction treatment center in Los Angeles. In 2019, she was convicted on eight counts, including attempted grand larceny, larceny in the second and third degree, and theft of services. Anna was sentenced to 4 to 12 years in prison but was released early in 2021 for good behavior. Following her release, her story gained even more attention with the Netflix series Inventing Anna, based on her life and crimes. Despite her criminal past, Anna has reinvented herself as an artist, selling more than $300,000 worth of artwork, which helped her post bail and cover rent for her East Village apartment in New York. By 2022, she made her return to the fashion world and appeared at New York Fashion Week, NYFW, for the brand Xiao. In 2023, Anna took another surprising step by joining Dancing with the Stars, DWTS, for its 33rd season. In the promo photos for the show, she embraced her past, posing with her ankle monitor visible, showing she isn't shying away from her history. Six, Anna Kendrick's Woman of the Hour movie. Everything we know Anna Kendrick is stepping into a new role as director with her upcoming film, Woman of the Hour. A crime thriller based on a chilling true story from the 1970s. The film marks her directorial debut and stars Kendrick alongside a talented cast. With the story focusing on the unsettling case of Rodney Alcala, a serial killer who appeared on a popular TV matchmaking show before his crimes were uncovered. Here's everything you need to know about Woman of the Hour. Woman of the Hour is set to be released on October 18, 2023, with a runtime of 1 hour and 35 minutes. The film initially premiered at the Toronto International Film Festival, TIFF, on September 8, 2023 receiving early buzz for its gripping narrative and Kendrick's directorial work. The film tells the true story of Cheryl Bradshaw, played by Anna Kendrick, and Rodney Alcala, played by Daniel Zovato. Bradshaw was a contestant on the popular 1970s TV show The Dating Game, where she chose Alcala, contestant bachelor number three, as her date, charmed by his personality and humor. However, unbeknownst to her and the audience, Alcala was hiding a terrifying secret, he was a psychopathic serial killer responsible for the deaths of multiple victims. Rodney Alcala's appearance on The Dating Game took place in 1978. At the height of his killing spree, he was later sentenced to death for several murders committed between 1977 and 1979. Woman of the Hour explores how Alcala's charismatic facade masked his violent tendencies and how his crimes came to light seven. Diddy's kids. Everything to know about his seven children and their mother's Quincy Taylor Brown Quincy is Diddy's eldest child, though not biologically his. He is the son of Kim Porter and singer Albert Joseph Brown, Al B. Shore but Diddy adopted Quincy after starting a relationship with Kim when Quincy was just four years old. The couple raised Quincy alongside their biological children. As Quincy grew up, he enjoyed the lavish lifestyle that came with being part of Diddy's family, including a lavish Sweet 16 party in Atlanta, which was featured on MTV's My Super Sweet 16. Quincy has built a career in acting. Starring in films and TV shows such as the hit Fox show Star, 2016-2019, and the Star's drama series Power Book 3, Raising Canaan. Outside of acting, Quincy has ventured into music and entrepreneurship. 
He has released several singles, founded a production company called For Example, launched a watch line called Chalk by Quincy, and created a jeans collection with Embellish. In 2018, Quincy experienced a significant personal tragedy when his mother Kim Porter passed away due to complications from pneumonia. He has since been open about his grief and continues to honor his mother's memory, emphasizing her lasting influence on his life. Justin Dior Combs born in 1993 Justin Dior Combs is Diddy's first biological child, from his relationship with Misa Hilton Brim, a renowned fashion designer. Justin is known for living a life of luxury, frequently showcasing his wealth and lifestyle to his 1.7 million Instagram followers. Justin attended UCLA on a football scholarship, playing as a quarterback while studying sociology. His affluent lifestyle and association with Diddy have landed him appearances on reality TV shows like My Super Sweet 16, Nick Cannon's Wild and Out, and MTV's Catfish. Over the years, Justin has been romantically linked to several high-profile women, including Sawiti, Lori Harvey, Chantelle Jeffries, and India Westbrook. In June 2023, Justin made headlines when he was arrested in Beverly Hills after failing a sobriety test following a traffic violation. He was reportedly released on $5,000 bail. Christian Combs, King Combs, Christian Combs, born to Diddy and Kim Porter in 1998, has followed in his father's footsteps, pursuing a career in both music and modeling. Christian raps under the name King Combs and signed with Bad Boy Entertainment, the record label founded by Diddy, at just 16 years old. He released his first EP, Sincerely C3, five years later. His 2018 single, Love You Better, featuring Chris Brown, was a significant hit. Christian is also a well-established model and frequently documents his career on Instagram where he has over 2.5 million followers. He was in a long-term relationship with model Brie Hicks, but the couple split in April 2021 after six years together. Chance Combs Chance Combs Born in July 2006, is Diddy's daughter from his relationship with Sarah Chapman, a longtime associate. Interestingly, Chance was born just five months before Diddy welcomed his twin daughters with Kim Porter which led to an intricate dynamic between Diddy's children. Like many of her siblings, Chance has already made her mark in the modeling industry. She appeared in a September 2021 Vanity Fair photoshoot with Diddy and her twin sisters, Delilah and Jessie. Chance maintains a close bond with her sisters. Delilah Starr and Jesse James Combs Delilah Starr and Jesse James Combs are Diddy's youngest biological children with Kim Porter. The twin sisters, born in December 2006, were just 11 years old when their mother passed away. Since Kim's death, Diddy has raised the twins along with their other siblings. The twins have developed their own following particularly on TikTok, where they share their lives with over 37,000 followers on a joint account. The twins have shown great affection for their father and celebrated his 51st birthday in 2020 by sharing a sweet throwback photo with him on Instagram, along with a heartfelt message calling Diddy a real king. Love Sean Combs in a surprise announcement in December 2022, Diddy revealed the birth of his seventh child. A baby girl named Love Sean Combs. The child's mother is Dana Tran, as indicated on Love's birth certificate. Diddy shared the news on Twitter, expressing his joy over the new addition to his family. Saying, I'm so blessed to welcome my baby girl Love Sean Combs to the world. Mama Combs, Quincy, Justin, Christian, Chance, Delilah, Jesse and myself all love you so much. God is the greatest. He later posted a family photo on Instagram, showing him and his older children dressed in matching Christmas pajamas, celebrating love's first holiday season with the family.
8. Why did Florence Pugh and Zach Braff break up? Inside their split Florence Pugh and Zach Braff's relationship was once highly discussed, primarily due to their 21-year age gap. The couple, who began dating in 2019, after working on the short film in the time it takes to get there together, made headlines again when Pugh opened up about their split in a recent British Vogue interview published on September 18. Despite their long-standing connection and collaborations, such as the movie A Good Person, the relationship ended in 2022. Florence and Zach initially connected professionally before developing a romantic relationship. After the release of In the Time It Takes to Get There, where Braff directed and Pugh starred alongside Alicia Silverstone, they began dating. Though they kept their relationship mostly private, they became public figures together. However, the age difference became a source of public scrutiny, attracting attention and negative commentary online. The couple faced significant public backlash regarding their age difference, leading to much online criticism. Florence was especially vocal about defending her relationship and her partner, stating that people had no right to dictate who she should or shouldn't love. After posting a birthday tribute to Zach on Instagram, she faced an influx of harsh comments, prompting her to respond with a video addressing the negativity. In her words, it is not your place. And really it has nothing to do with you. The abuse that you throw at him is abuse that you throw at me. This backlash took an emotional toll on the couple. And Florence mentioned in the British Vogue interview that it affected not only them but also their families. She expressed her protective nature, stating, I think for anyone I'm with, I want to protect them. Following her breakup with Zach Braff, Florence has moved on and is now seeing someone new. She has chosen to keep her new relationship more private and has not revealed her partner's identity. In her British Vogue interview, she stated, So there is someone. Yes. We are figuring out what we actually are. Florence explained that she is taking a more thoughtful approach to her current relationship. Allowing it to develop naturally and let it be completely real to its core, rather than rushing into anything.